Hi, this is Bob at Avion. Today we're going to introduce our Aqua Flame uh, flame polishing equipment, flame polishing system. We have three different sizes of machines. We've got a 500, an 800, and a 1200. Um, the difference between the machines is as they get bigger, you, you can cover a, a wider surface area during the polishing. And today we're going to demonstrate our Model 500 Aqua Flame machine, and what we're going to show you is how the to introduce the chemicals to the machine. So there are three different chemicals that you need for this. We don't use oxygen, hydrogen, or any of the gases. We're using chemicals that when are mixed together, produce a gas within the machine. That way we don't have the storage of the gas tanks. Um, the chemicals needed for this are uh, MEK, potassium hydroxide crystals, and these are both reagent grade and deionized water. And in just a minute we're going to start out with uh, mixing of these and we're going to put them into the system and show you all how it uh, all works. When we're loading the chemicals into the machine is we're going to mix our potassium hydroxide crystals. We need 300 grams of those based on the information that we have and the deionized water. Um, when we get that mixed in here we're going to put it into this container up here. And on the front of the machine you'll see that there's a top up and a full. We're going to look for that water to rise up to the top up level there. When we're adding these chemicals it's important that you have the gloves, the face mask, or the respiratory and the eyewear to make sure that you know nothing happens uh, as you're working with the chemicals. So we're going to start out with this. Now that's my 300 grams of chemicals and I'm going to fill then to one liter for this size of machine. Again, these uh, measurements are going to change by the size of the machine that you have. So we've got one liter of deionized water with potassium hydroxide reagent grade crystals. We're going to stir that up and dissolve those crystals in the water. Okay, so we can see the level in here is now to there, and we're going to top it up at this point with a little more water and bring that level up. Okay. Now before I put that cap on, we want to take the machine and just tilt it a little bit and get some of the air bubbles out of there if there are any in there. And then we can cap that off. Okay. Now I'm going to pause here a moment because I'm going to go rinse this out before I put my MEK measure. Okay, we're back. Uh, we've rinsed out the, the mixer. I mean, it would be better actually if you have two containers, one to measure out your MEK, the other to measure out your other chemicals. In this case, we've rinsed it out. We've got our MEK and I've poured in our 220 milliliters of liquid. Now we're going to put this in our gas booster. And again, we've got a top-up line and a full line. So I'm going to pour this very slowly into the booster. And we can see the level is just coming up right there. And that's about where we want to be. It's important that we do not overfill this tank. So like we did on this machine, we're also going to tilt it a little bit front and back 
and see if we can remove any air bubbles that might be in there before we put the cap back on. Now we're going to mount this on our machine and we've got our lines ready to go here. We've got a gas out line that we've already attached here and we're going to attach that here to the gas in. So it's once the gas is produced in the machine it's going to come through here and out through this line to our torch. Attach our torch line. Okay, so we've got our hoses attached now, we've got our torch attached, uh, and with the chemicals are in the machine. Oh, by the way, on this MEK, after we run it, we're going to start it up, run it for a little bit, and then we'll come back and we'll top up the MEK. We'll look at the lines, we can top up the, the water as well. Um, so, right now we're going to plug in the machine. We're ready to turn it on. Uh, before we do, the torch must be closed, and we've got a tip already on here. This is our number 20 tip that we've chosen for this. The size of the tip will determine the area that you can polish. When we're ready to open up the torch and polish this gas production light, will will blink periodically. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on and our light went on for a second and now it's off and both lights are off because the torch is closed once we open the torch we're going to give it a minute or two for the gas production to take place and to make its way to the torch before we light it we've got our little handy aqua flame uh, torch lighter here and I'll just uh, give it a go Okay, there it's starting to blink periodically. Let lit it for a second. There it goes. Okay. And we've got the flame. Okay, so we've got a piece of acrylic here. We've got our torch now lit. We're going to polish the edge of this. Done, we'll just turn the torch off and the light should go off again. Okay, so we've finished uh, polishing the edge of our acrylic here. Um, I've turned the torch off, the, both lights are now off. I'm going to turn it off. And one thing to mention is uh, I had mentioned before that the level we stop here, it, it goes up when the machine is on. So um, we'll top that off periodically in the future if we need to, or top off the water. But at this point, we're good. Thank you very much for joining us. That's our Aqua Flame.